What's going on, Washington Commander fans? It's your boy back with another video. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that share, hit that bell. More content's definitely on the way. I just think there's one solution that has that uh, that has to be checked off. And, you know, then with the signing of Cam Sims, I was like, well, maybe we won't get the receiver at 11 or maybe we'll trade back. But there's so many good receivers out here that, I mean, if you trade back a little bit, you should still have one that you that you like. But I just think we need a dog, man. I don't care if it's a cornerback. I don't care if it's a middle linebacker. I don't care if it's a receiver, even though I prefer receiver. I want a receiver. But just got to make sure it's a dog. Make sure that this guy out the box is ready to go. That's what we need. We don't need any developmental players with the 11th pick. We don't need it. The blue chip guy should be there at 11 to make this offense even harder to deal with. Because when you got a quarterback that can make the throws that Wentz can make, and you got a running game, and then you got Terry, and you got Dayami, and you got Curtis, and Logan Thomas, and Gibby, and JD, why not make it even harder? Our problem has been scoring. We don't we haven't scored a lot of points, so. What would a dog, we need a dog. We need a full-fledged dog on offense. But I'll take him on defense. If, if, if the best middle linebacker is out there and he's ready to go off the bot and he's ready to go, I'll take that. I'll take a corner that's ready to go. Hell, if that safety drops, which I know he won't, I'll take him because I know he's a dog. We need, we need a dog. That's just the bottom line. We can't deny it any further. We need a full-fledged beast in Washington with that 11th pick. Because if you look at our if you look at our roster, only thing that's missing is a middle linebacker, of course, and a and a dog weapon for Terry and Carson. And a nickelback, corner, whatever you want. Don't if it's not one of those three things with that eleven pick. I'm just, I don't know, man. I don't know, unless there's just somebody you just got to get, and he's just the best player available, and you just want to plug him in your, in your um, on your team. But man, this is an opportunity that we don't get too often where the top part of the draft is going to be edge rushers offensive linemen maybe a quarterback or two and then our pick comes up and there's no receivers off the board and we got a chance to get us a game changer who can also take the pressure off Terry take the pressure off Carson make defensive coordinators scratch their heads this is actually the opportunity there's a few of those guys out there the Ohio State wide receiver receivers out there. There's a few. They got a couple of Ohio State receivers out there. Whichever guy that you think could take this team to the next level and and pro ready to go day one, just ready to step out on the field, that's what we should be obsessing. That's what we should be looking at right now. Because I know we're going to do a few more things in free agency to tie these loose ends up. Because I know how Ron's going to work methodically. Maybe we might get a middle linebacker before that. Now, if we get a middle linebacker in free agent, then I definitely want receiver in the first. That's what I want in the first round. I don't always get what I want because when you're building a team, see, Ron's building the team. I'm looking at the team on television and, and, and all of that, and I see what's going on. So I feel I know what the team needs. But he's building the team. He's actually looking at a Dayomi coming in at second year. I might not need a receiver. So I don't know. But if it was up to me, I would get a receiver. But hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that share, hit that bell. More contents on the way. And let's take command. Hey!